Hi Libra, welcome to your reading. We are reading for the second week of November. Okay, guys, let's see. Second week of November for Libra, please. So the High Priestess in reverse with the Hierophant in reverse and the Three of Wands in reverse. And Two of Wands in reverse. Lie. Two of Wands upright. Okay, what's in reverse is the Hierophant. This is a marriage going sideways. This is a commitment going sideways. This is something that you have put a lot of commitment into, like college, like your job, like your career, and like a marriage. Um, that's kind of going nowhere. Um, I also have this high priestess in reverse. This is a lack of intuition. This is also somebody that you weren't talking to that you were committed with. I think you're waiting to see what their actions are going to be in the near future, Libra. I think you're waiting for them to come to you. Um, you're waiting for your ships to come in. Um, but while you're waiting here, waiting to see what they're going to say or do, or I don't know if you have an expectation from them to come towards you, but in the interim, what you actually are doing is this two of wands where you're looking at your future. You're looking at the horizon. You're like, you know what? I kind of already partially committed myself to moving on from a dynamic or a situation. And that's just what I'm going to do. Sure. I'll also wait and see what their response is to me, but more or less, I got one foot forward already into my future, into my new path. And naturally, that's how everybody's thinking and feeling right now, Libra, with the two major eclipses that we just had. That was done to you on purpose. It's like the first one was big and huge and painful and it made everyone uncomfortable, the whole entire collective. But it was different for everyone. For some, it was their career. For others, it was their marriages and their love life. For others, it was friends and family. For you, it was a matter of letting go of people uh, that no longer served you or suited you or just they don't they don't fit in your your vibe anymore. You're you're you've graduated being with these people and they're not elevating with you. So there's no purpose for them in your world. Um, in any event, because um, I see the moon at the bottom of the deck, you have a little bit of fear of the unknown fear of the future. Uh, something did end and it ended in a way where you came out on top for sure. Um, but I think you're waiting for a result of some kind from this. We'll see when we clarify. I mean, that's your current situation. If this resonates with you, then definitely stick with me. Uh, let's see what's coming in your future positions, what's coming towards you. this mic a little sorry i am trying to get it together all right so what's coming in for libra please second week of november Six of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Okay. I think you're mentally disengaging, Libra. You're like, adios, chief. I'm out of here. You're like, ciao, ciao, buckle out. I'm taking my crew with me. The people that resonate with me. The people that work with me. The people who love me. The people who care about me. My circle is getting smaller and that's just fine by me. Um, And this is you voicing that opinion. Um, this can also be somebody else that rushes in for some of you guys uh, with some kind of information, which is kind of cuckoo and crazy, but it kind of like helps you mentally disengage from your past or your current dynamic. We'll see. Um, but before, when I was talking to you about the eclipses, like I said, the first one was a big doozy. If you were confused or unclear, that's what the second eclipse was about. Like, nope, 
You didn't get it the first time. I'm going to nail it in your head the second. And this is you doing that. This is you mentally disengaging. The same exact card in the same exact position also for Aquarius. I imagine all the air signs will be thinking this kind of way. See, the bottom of the deck, you've been trying to think in the other person's perspective, the other person's shoes for a very long time. Now you're done. You're getting yourself unstuck from that process and you're pulling yourself down from the fucking tree and you're moving on with your life, Libra. And you're coming out on top, like I said. All right, let's continue. Let's see what you don't see coming your way. Libra, please. Okay. La ti da, Libra. <laughs> La ti da. The Ten of Cups is my favorite card. This and the Sun. Um, this tells me you're going to end up in some sort of happy environment or, you know, with the people that you choose to be that, that you know, show you posy vibes that make you happy. Um, friends that laugh and joke with you. I think this is where you're going. This is where you're headed. And I love it. And this could be your colleagues at work. This could be your friendships. This could be even within your relationship, you know, happy environment. And you're slowly moving into that direction. Um, can I have one more, please? Yeah, I think you're cutting out immature people from your life. I really do. I think you're sacrificing a bunch of people. And I say sacrifice because you're looking at it with a grain of salt, really. And you're saying to yourself, okay, I can't win every battle. You know, this is not something I choose to lose or somebody I don't want not not in my life. But if that's how it's going to be, you know, I'm, I'm here to fix my future, my dynamic, my environment. Um... And you're kind of turning down any kind of immature, negative energy. Somebody younger than you too, actually. It just feels like almost too, like a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, Libra, because I'm not a sugar coater. Um, hear no evil, see no evil. La, 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 la. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to know it. I don't care. It's got nothing to do with me. Because it's going to fuck with my head and my life. And I don't care for that. So I feel like every air sign is kind of doing that. But you all have distinct little differences. Um... For you, this is in general for your whole life. I feel like for Aquarius, it was more about a lover, particularly, and particularly one or two individuals. It is the same thing for you too, Libra, but I, I think that you're just all going about it in different ways. It's just a lot of similarities, but a little minor differences here and there. We'll see when we clarify though, because for you, it does feel like a sacrifice. Like it feels like it hurts you more. Um, let me see what your advice is. I mean, first things first, you definitely are, you know, going slowly, right? I think you are taking a methodical approach. I think you're trying to dodge anything that is flaky, um, but not exactly. I think you're going with the flow, but the flow for you is a little... Um... Sorry about that. Somebody was yelling outside my door to pause you guys. Um, but going back to you, I think you are taking slow, methodical approach. You're being cautious, which is the right way to go. However, the thing that um, might be holding you back, and the universe is really, really adamant about this... You're very logical. You're very rational, Libra. And, but you are also guided by Venus. And now the universe is saying more than ever, Libra, you really need to go with your heart chakra. You really need to open it up. And what does that mean? That means being emotionally mature. It means to handle the tough conversations. We can't be all like, ah, la, 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 hear no evil, see no evil. The universe wants you to use your heart chakra. They want you to be like a queen of uh, cups, which is a water sign. A water sign, yes, definitely goes with the flow, but they handle conversations on emotional level um, very maturely. Aside from that, they're also emotionally available. 
uh, they also allow themselves to be vulnerable to a certain degree and they know exactly how to use their boundaries uh, without being aggressive. But it's definitely saying make yourself available, open your heart chakra, uh, put up, you know, show a little bit of vulnerability um, because you are here to learn something with this page of pentacles. For some of you, if this is work related, this is saying that you are at the bottom of the totem pole going up. So maybe some of you got a new job and now you're learning all the fixings of, you know, the standard operating procedures of the company. Others of you, you are just got a promotion, but you're at the bottom of the wheel and there's room for you to grow because this is the apprenticeship card. So this is the card that tells me there's potential. There's potential in a relationship that you have here with someone. Also, this is just telling me you have hit a roadblock, a stagnation. That's why you also had the eclipse because it's time to graduate. You're no longer suited for where you are right now, Libra. And the way you're going to grow and expand in your relationship or this love ship that you're dealing with or your job, it's to go with the heart chakra, opening it up. We're going to, you know, layer over these cards and clarify them. We'll see exactly what they're talking about. See what the outcome is for the week for you, Libra. Outcome for Libra, please. Four of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Okay, look, I think right now you have a lot of unrequited love. I think you're getting new opportunities and options and they're just not fulfilling for you. I think you're bored or you're just not thrilled or happy. Um, you're still moving forward slowly and cautiously, um, but that's all you're doing. You're taking tiny baby steps because... I think you don't know what choice to make. I think you're confused or you don't know what choice to make. You're, you're struggling. Um, you're trying to review your options and you're like, it's kind of like when you don't have GPS on and then the road splits and you're trying to get to a final destination and you don't know if you should go left or right, but the GPS ain't working and you're looking for like a map to tell you where to go. So you're, you're going like one inch, uh, an hour you're going like a mile a minute you're like oh you're, you're going slow because you don't know um you're trying to search for the answers or you're searching for the map before you make that left or right i think that's what you're doing here at the end of your week because you're not really thrilled you're not really happy with your option or your choices so you're trying to see which one is the best for you all right and i say that because i see the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck all right in case you're wondering how the hell i'm reading that that's how I'm reading that. <laughs> All right, Libra, let's see what's going on here. What is the higher font? Three of wands, two of wands, and what's that? High priestess in reverse. Libra, please clarify. No, Libra, I feel like for you, you're reading to me, this is straight up. This is straight up. You post your eclipse, trying to, you know, um, you've made decisions. The second eclipse made you more comfortable with the choice that you had in your mind. And now you're trying to move forward with that is what I believe, right? Um, I saying this, I'm saying all of this because you have the hermit. The hermit is you, you're retracting your energy. You're, you're giving yourself a timeout and you're lying low. You're trying to not be out there, say anything. Problem is, though, with the high, um, the Empress in reverse, you have your doubts. So this is why you're probably doing two things. One step forward, two steps back kind of thing. Um, where it's, it can be two steps forward and one step back. Sorry, it's what I prefer to say. Because you, you're sitting here waiting. So it's like you take two steps forward into your future, but you're like, hold on, let me take another step back and see if that person came back or if I missed anything or I did something wrong right? So you do have your doubts. So you're trying to use your inner wisdom from, you know, your experiences, all that you've been through. The only thing you know is that the thing was burdening you. It was exhausting you. It was, it was too much for you. It was like high risk, low reward. Like you're like, what, what am I getting out of this? 
friendship. It's like this person is sucking me dry, but I'm not really getting anything out of it. All right, so let's continue. Um, let me see what the Six of Swords and the Knight of Swords is. The magician, you are mentally trying to disengage. You're trying hard. You're, you're really focused on mentally disengaging from the situation or the person. Um, and I think you're sending out communication and feelers to that regard. At least you're trying. Um, of course, some they could be also trying with you, but you're still moving away from them no matter what. You're still this two of wands. You're still trying to move into your future um, and do new things, be with new people, or just take with you what is working and leaving what's not. Uh, because you are elevating, and you are elevated, and you don't want to be bogged down or burdened anymore. You're a different person. And you want to be with that group of people in your life. All right, so let's see what the Ten of Cups is and the Page of Cups in reverse. This is very, it's not for everybody, but there's one or two of you out there. Some of you are having a child out of wedlock, um, something like that. Wow. Okay, so what you don't see coming, shock and surprise, when you mentally disengage from this person, this is, or that situation, your whole world lights up. Your whole world changes. It's like the keys to the kingdom, and it's like you unlock those doors, and you go past the gates, and you're like, oh my god, this was waiting for me the whole entire fucking time. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> Ten of cups. Ace of Cups, this is a brand new start in love. And let me tell you, it's going for gold because it's mutual. You both mutually feel the same way. You could be dealing with a water sign, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, if it's not that water sign, this is somebody who's emotionally mature, emotionally available. All those things that I was describing to you earlier for your advice. And now I understand your advice, why they want you to be that way, because that's how this person is this fresh new start in love. Um, I just don't feel like you, you're you finding it exciting. I think you're finding it just like, oh, yay, somebody who likes me, I like them too, but I'm a little bored. I'm a little like, mm. but it's not work. It's easy peasy, so I'll do this. Let's continue. Let's go to your advice because I see the king and queen of cups there. The person you're not expecting and the person that the universe wants you to be for your advice to make things work. Because there's something here to learn. Because you are learning a different type of love. Oh, shit. Wow. Okay. So spirit is saying weigh your pros and cons definitely in regards to your marriage. If it's not your marriage, then it's your job because there's a lot of money there. But it's saying weigh your pros and cons to your marriage or to your situation. Um, there's something here to be learned. Um, I know you're bored or stagnated or something like that, but you need to open your heart chakra. Because it feels like you've been getting breadcrumbs and... You haven't been feeling the love. You haven't been feeling the passion. You haven't been feeling shit. You haven't been feeling any kind of fucking reward. This is you begging for it all. Begging for money. Begging for attention. Begging for feelings. Begging for excitement. Begging for passion. You don't want to beg fucking nobody. But let's continue. Because I feel like this is somebody else and this is somebody else. Like you're dealing with two scenarios. Like some of you, you could have said goodbye to an ex and now you're moving on to this new love. What Or, you know, an old friend and now you're you're joining a new group of a circle of friends. What is this Knight of uh, Wand, um, Pentacles and Four of Cups, please? I'm sometimes called to look at the top of the deck. It's not often, it's not common, but when I do, I do it because nine times that it makes sense. 
this was at the top of the deck and now it's at the bottom of the deck seven of cups this is again the same card i was looking at the bottom of the deck before when we put the there it is actually seven of cups seven of cups they're both at the bottom of the deck do you know what the mathematical probability of that is with 78 cards in each deck pretty damn rare why am i telling you all of this because it goes back again to you having a, a tough choice to make and it's you're confused as to what your right option is See, something has ended. Something that was dead and boring and it wasn't manifesting to anything died. You're trying to pick up the pieces and move on, but you're still wondering to yourself, what's that right choice if you made the right choice at all, Libra? You did what you did. And of course, it was the right choice because it's making you grow as a person because you're learning from this whole situation. I imagine in a week or two, your readings will be completely and definitely way way different let me see what your um romance angels have to say here libra please hmm. libra please All right, I'm not going to toot my own horn, but I'm going to toot my own horn. <laughs> Just kidding. Unrequited love. Because that's the outcome. You, somebody here is bored or it doesn't feel the same way about the other person. And that is why it has ended. And the bottom of the deck says, Stop, stay optimistic about your love life. There's going to be chemistry in the near future with you and someone else. I don't know if it's the same person we're talking about here or somebody else in your midst. Now, let's get a card from the Wisdom House at night, and that will be your reading, my dear Libras. Um, the Wisdom House at night, this Oracle deck, I just bring it up to people because this is sold on Amazon like for like 16 bucks or something like that. I love it. Like if you have a question in regards to your situation, you pull a card. It's pretty, pretty damn dope. Hmm. Libra not being weird. Give me a second. Yes. I wanted to pull one of these cards. Before I pull you the Wisdom House tonight, what does Libra need to hear, please? You are giving away your power. You are a badass. Act like it, Libra. Of course. I tell my daughter this all the time. She's a Libra. My little peanut I love to death. Okay, Oath. I love this card. This is going to be a reminder card for you guys. Okay. Oath. My lovely child, you have chosen the symbol for oath, and this is the symbol for all promises and a reminder to keep the ones that you have made. An oath is never made lightly nor in jest. Promises are meant to be honored. When you choose the symbol, perhaps it's time you look at how you have made your promises. Have you crossed your fingers behind your back, relinquishing the magic that binds you to your oath? Has anyone broken his or her promise to you? Let the person go. Don't hold on if someone refuses to be honorable. You don't want this person in your life. For now, the most important promise you can make is to yourself. Promise to be kind, loving, honorable, and good. Do no harm. To belong to me, you must keep this promise. What well, a great reading, Libra. All right, guys. This is what I have for you this week. Please leave me your comments down below. 
I would love to grow your cohort. Please tell me what changes you think I should add to the channel or to your group. And I'm more than welcome to hear you guys out. Have a good one. See you in the next one.